Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are going to continue our environment model in ZBrush. So in our last video, we exported the mesh from Maya and today we are going to import it in ZBrush and start sculpting. So I'm going to go here in the import and uh, import my base mesh. Uncheck everything if anything is selected here and I'm going to click on OK. So draw your object. and uh, turn on this edit you can also press t now go to sub tools and uh, we will start with these rocks so i'm going to select this rock and uh, i'm going to go in geometry and uh, let's divide it and I'm going to delete the lower subdivisions and uh, increase the resolution of Dynamesh. And then click on Dynamesh. Maybe a little more. Then turn this off. So we will start with this and I'm going to isolate it. So you can click here on this solo. So sculpt the rock. I'm going to go in my light box and in the brushes. Let's open this trim and select this trim border smooth. And I'm going to add some flat parts here on the top like this. So just randomly smooth these parts out and we'll add some details later. And we need to add some damage so that it looks like a rock. So we can do it few ways. Let's try adding some noise. So I'm going to go here in the surface and open this noise and i'm going to increase the scale like this and i'm going to adjust this noise curve
something like this you can also increase or decrease the scale and i think i'm good with 15 and uh, click ok then click on this apply to mesh as you can see that we don't have many subdivisions and that's why our noise is blurred so what we need to do is yeah we need to increase the subdivisions so i'm going to add some subdivisions something like this i think 700,000 polygons should be more than enough so i'm going to go back to noise and again let's try to apply by mesh and now it looks much better I can also add some details you can flat out some of these parts like this just to add some variation you can decrease the intensity a little let's try this brush trim dynamic And to add more damage, what you can do is you can go to light box in the brushes and here you'll see this mallet brush. So let's try this mallet fast and this way you can add some damage quickly in your meshes. So I'm going to just add some damage and sculpt like this just to give it a look like a stone. and uh, to remove some of this part and to fix this weird looking shape you can use trim dynamic or trim smooth border and just sculpt and fix this part so that it looks more better more like a stone And to add some uh, stone like damage here, what you can do is you can go to lightbox and uh, in the brushes you can use the old brush. And here you have this old rock noise, you can use this and I'm going to just add some noise here, to this part, like this. And to add some crack in this rock, what you can use is you can use some of these alphas. I'll drop the link in the description. These are all free to use. So let's try something like this. And I'm going to set this to drag rect. And you can change the brush to standard and let's change the alpha to this crack
decrease the intensity if it's too much it doesn't look very good use it here something like this so i think this should be enough for this rock so i'm going to turn off this solo and bring back rest of my model and now we have all these rocks so i'm going to select everything one by one so let's go to your sub tool and select a different rock i'm going to select this one and again solo let's go to geometry and uh, subdivide it delete the low subdivisions go to your dynamesh increase the resolutions let's try something like 400 dynamesh it and uh, turn off the dynamesh then uh, subdivide it go to brushes and use your trim smooth border and uh, increase the brush size intensity to 100 and let's add some detail like this don't worry about the shape deformation it will add a different variation in your mesh So I think this much should be fine. Now we are going to add some noise to make it look like a rock. So let's go to surface and again noise. Increase the scale and adjust the curve a little bit do something like this then click ok and uh, apply to mesh now we are going to use mallet brush to add some damage Uh, if you see some patches like this while you're sculpting just go to your stroke and uh, in the lazy mouse just turn off relative
and uh, to fix the weirdness of this mesh just use stream dynamic and uh, fix this part decrease the draw size intensity to 100 and let's fix some of its like this and then we're going to go to light box and brushes then all brush and use this rock noise increase the intensity and choose the stroke to drag rectangle and just drag like this to add some noise like this You can also increase intensity if you want to add more definition like this but i'll just keep it below 50. like this let's turn off this solo and uh, bring back your model and see how it looks let's select the dynamic and I'm going to flat this part and uh, change the brush to orb noise and uh, change the stroke to freehand or color spray and just add some noise here This part is not going to be visible, so you don't need to add that much detail here. So two of our rocks are done. So I guess I'll finish this video here and uh, I'll finish the rest of the rocks after this tutorial and in the next one we are going to start sculpting on this monument or this obelisk so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new and you can also follow me on the instagram and join my discord server you'll find all the links in the descriptions and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching